Good day, everyone. Uh, my name's Lance, and thanks for hitting play today and checking out my channel. I do appreciate it. Um, today, um, I've got what I've got here is I've taken, and uh, this is just an 11 by 14 canvas panel, and I put some. I went over it with some black gesso, which is uh, an acrylic gesso, and I did some designs, and that dried. I did it a few days ago. That dries instant almost. You can put a hair dryer on if you're in a hurry, but takes about an hour to dry and then it's ready to go and gesso is designed to paint over I uh, have oil paints go over it. It, it it's better to adhere to it I guess and it makes it work better from what I've read and been told so uh, then I did that and then I put some clear medium over it just a clear gel you might see some sheen on it because you know, it has got some clear on there and that'll just help us blend blend the paint just a little bit of that you don't want too much okay um, unfortunately I, <laughs> the only glasses I could find are my yellow cheaters and I've got hundreds of them laying somewhere but I can't find any today so um, but you know I, I'm going to do a good intro here but if you don't have time you can take your finger on the bottom and go in YouTube and, and watch a portion that you want if you do if you don't uh, maybe come back later but I do appreciate all the comments the likes and the subscriptions it's been good thank you uh, phthalo blue these are just some of the colors you can use you can use whatever colors you want but phthalo blue this is a uh, raw umber this is a dark brown. This is a burnt sienna, one of my favorite colors. Yellow ochre, permanent red, titanium white, sap green. This is an olive green, and I smeared that down here. And it's semi-transparent. You can see it a little bit, but I wiped some off. But olive green, me down here, that'll just help with the colors there. This is a bright yellow, cad yellow, and a couple of oranges I have. I like this one better, and I had that one on there already, so I put some of that on. So with that, I don't know if I'll wear my glasses that much, but I'm going to zoom in. And uh, it's pretty chilly up here in Montana today. I've been shoveling snow. I had to go buy a new snow shovel today. And yeah, so let's zing down a little bit. Zoom in a little bit. And there we go. I'm going to lock it. There. So hopefully you can see that good. Okay. And we'll get started. I'm just going to use this brush that I used to put the clear gel on. And I actually used one of these. It's, I use it for acrylic. These brushes are only 99 cents at the hobby store. And they're wonderful. But I came in and did this, you know, and then the trees, I used the liner brush. And I think I used a liner brush that is old and they, they don't stay together. And I just tap these little tree things in there. So it works out pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm going to start out. Oh, shoot. That's what I forgot. I got my crimson. Got a little alizarin on here because I might put in there. Okay, crimson I like to use in my sky, and it is uh, good. So hopefully um, this painting turns out good. And a lot of them I do this way, and I was thinking about some of the paintings that I've done and how they. You know what else I wanted to do? Some of the paintings I've done and how they've turned out and. I'm going to use some Indian yellow in here too. And the reason I'm using Indian yellow is because it's transparent and it won't cover my trees. And it's, oh man, it's got some good color in it. I think it's pretty good color. So, so I'm going to have to use a few different brushes here, but that's okay. So I'm going to just come in and there's my Indian yellow. I'm just going to get a little bit. Can you see that? Okay. You don't want to blotch it on there. You want to kind of, there. Okay, so let's go in here, and we're just going to start down at the base. And I don't want to pull that green into there, so i got to be careful. Remember I put that green, I left a little separation here. Okay, I'm just going to put some of that in here. Okay, bring it up a little bit. And this, see how nice it is? See, if you use transparent colors, see, they're pretty awesome. So that just comes in and automatically makes our starts to grab the eye and stuff so i like that so you got the yellow and why not we can put a little i want that in there oops okay sometimes i get my colors too close to each other and i'm like i like washing brushes so i'm not gonna worry about it i want to get a little bit of uh this is uh what down here just some yellow ochre it's a golden color but it'll look good on top of that Okay, same thing. You do that, mush it around, whatever. Just, then it's not blotched. Okay, 
will come right above it. And it'll, go, and it'll be a little more darker, see? And it's still transparent because you can still see the trees. And that's, that's what you want. Okay, I'm going to come over here, making sure I'm not pulling that green out into the sky. Okay, that wouldn't be the best. Okay, right here, a little more. I'm going to bring it down. There, see? Pull that yellow ochre down in there a little more. There. All right, I like that. Now, come back in with this brush. We'll get that crimson, okay? Just a little. I want a lot, okay? I'm going to come right above there. Same thing. Put it right above it. Perfect. Crimson can mix with yellow. And it won't hurt nothing. It won't turn green. But the thing is, if you use blue, and you get blue on there, and you mix it with that. There, I want a little more color on there. A little more, get some more crimson on there. We can blend it out, too. See? Oh, yeah. And you kind of want to use these crisscross strokes, but you can do whatever. Okay? How much crimson do we want there? Looks pretty good. Bring it over there. Because you want to know where it goes to, right? Okay. If you want, you can bring it down a little more into the yellow. There. And that yellow and that there, crimson will look fine together. See how that kind of blends down a little more? I like that. I like that. Okay. I'm going to grab my Thalo Blue right here. Just a little. I'm going to start up the corners on this one, okay? Right there. Come down. Don't need much. Halo Blue is a good color. Boy, it stands out. I like, you know, I use uh, Ultramarine Blue too, but and I like Thalo Blue. It's just it's hard to beat because it's really blue. I think it has a little green in it almost, but it's a warm color. There, okay? So we have that. Almost looks like a rainbow. A lot of my paintings I do are like this, but in order to knock them out fast, I got to make them easy. Otherwise, um, paintings would be too long. I see guys, really good artists, they paint on. They do their paintings on. And they, take, they do a good job, you know, editing them and, and doing them, but they get kind of long. And that's when I say, take your finger and hit fast forward. Okay? Not a problem. Okay, so I'm going to take one of my nice new brushes. I'm going to come down here and start blending this. Keep in mind, don't get into that green. That probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. Okay. There. I'm going to show you a little trick here, too, that you can do. And as they blend together, they just they just start to, they start to look good. And you kind of want to disappear them so you, don't, you can't tell where they meet. You can that looks best but okay see hopefully we're getting a good there how's that look i like it the sky looks good there's not too much glare so you're seeing a pretty good uh it looks pretty close to that a lot of times i get a better uh, it looks better from my angle but when you're doing this uh, lighting is super important and it can be difficult so i think that's good i mean i can go through and take out the brush strokes too, if you want. So you can grab a clear brush and just come back here and go like this. See? I'm just kind of trying to stay. And that kind of helps too. And then if you want, this is a little trick I was going to show you. Wipe that off. I'll use him again. If you want to make it brighter somewhere, like maybe down here, like this. We'll pull some of that white from underneath. See? Maybe give you a little whiter down there. You could put some white in there too and blend it out, but today I don't want to do it because I want to keep these really, really like that. Okay. It kind of does look like a, it should be more of a, it should be more of a, um, um, a silhouette, but those are boring. So we're going to do something different and put some color in. I tell you what. So let's go in here and I'm going to, I want to mix up some little, uh, some color here. And what I'm going to do, is I'm going to come in, I'm going to use, we're going to put some gr some grass in here, okay, and do these trees. So I'm going to try to use the same brush over on these trees that I used to put them on with. And I got several of these because they're 99 cents, okay? And so let's grab some sap green, 
Okay. The dark's already there, right? A little yellow ochre in there. There. See? You see that? I hope I'm not more yellow ochre in there. Okay. I like that touch of touch of orange. Might be too much. There. Mix some different colors in here. There. A little orange in there. Some more yellow. Oh, I like that. Okay, a little olive green. I might dull it. More of that yellow. How about a blodge of something in there? I'll take that out of there. There. Put that over here. I use a... Sorry. I use a uh, roll of paper towels. That works good. Okay. Then we got that. So, come in here and just see what we can do. I'm going to throw a touch more trap green on here. Give me a second. Okay. A little more sharp green in this one. There. I'm going to probably make some more of that nice yellow, too. Because we're going to get down into the grass and some more sap green in there. It's not yellow. I don't want to get any white in here. Okay. There. See? Let's try that out. And I'm just pulling down on this brush. Okay. Pull down, push up if you want. See how that looks, okay? So let's go in here and just start tapping in some stuff. I'm up top here, okay? There, tap there, okay? Then you can come in, you get in the middle. Maybe you can go like this, or you can go like this, doesn't matter. Tapping, pulling down. Not killing all your dark, right? Okay, hold it there. And we can come here and put a little on this side. Maybe that other one's in the background. Okay, tap. There. Don't kill all your dark. It comes down like this. You know, pull towards the middle because that's where your pull towards the middle because that's where your branches are, right? Pull back out here. More. Right there. There. Those edges. Maybe you can grab a little of that orange. Watch this. Up here. Maybe their tamaracks and they're starting to get rid of some of their, you know, branches. Have some fun. Touch in there. Okay. You can push up if you want. There. You want to kill all your dark, but you want to make them look good. So I think those look good. Now the same thing we're going to do. Come down here. Use that same color. We can mix them up a little bit. Get some orange in some of it. And then some... We're going to come down here. We're going to work on our grass. Okay? We've got the distant stuff, so we're going to kind of leave that and try to... See that? There. That one's closer, right? We don't know how far down those trees come, but we'll see how we want to do it. We can pull them farther. You got to keep that distance. So if you're going to put these little grass things in, right? Some orange in there. Look at that. See, I'm just touching. You got all that dark. So what happens with you got that dark in there, you don't need to uh, um, use as much paint. You just barely have to touch. Isn't that nice? Okay. Get some dark in there. Watch this. Again, maybe these the lands right here. You kind of want an angle, right? So watch your lay of the land. Okay, as you get down here, don't kill all your dark, because then it'll look flat. And that tree comes down. It has a little okay. These are so easy to do. Because we're not using, we I know what I kind of want to do, but I don't really have any. Uh, doesn't matter. There, you have all kinds of uh, all kinds of uh, uh, ways you can do this. Okay, ready? See? Maybe that comes down into there. There. And we can come in and, and do some other things here, but I'm going to take this brush. Just a whatever brush. Take some brown. Some of the browns. 
and I'm gonna add a little white to it. Okay, so you can see it there. Got a lot of white. Okay, and just put a little, little crimson in there. There we go. Ochre. Some more white in there. There. Okay, and we'll just maybe add some little, little things in there. Okay, some arms. Okay, just gotta have some. Maybe there's one there. And we could use the liner brush, or we could actually, which else might work. Let me use my, come back in and grab a little bit on this. See, and watch this. Yeah, it's on there. Oh, I got the jitter. Okay, just come down. Grab a little more, a little white. Just mixing it on here so you can see it. There, there's one right here. You can come back in and cover this up, just barely touching the canvas. See, those work good. And there's one that comes over there. Just barely touch. Not many. There. Was that good? Can you see that? Over here. And there. There's one right here. Maybe that will fix. That's okay. You know, just little things happening in there. And there's something that comes over here. Just little indications of something. It makes it more interesting, doesn't it? Maybe that comes down a little further, that one. Okay, comes down to here. Pull it over a little bit. Move this way. There. Piece of cake. Okay. Okay, how's that look? Yeah, do you see some trunks in there? You can use a liner brush for that too if you want. Okay. Come back in with this. Okay, we've got our grass. Okay, I'm going to pull this up a little bit more here. Get to there. And I'm just touching. Kind of pushes all that other stuff back, too, into the distance, doesn't it? Okay. There. That's good. Okay, you can add some orange in there. A few spots. Watch this. See that? Mix it up a little bit. Halloween's coming up. Why not? Lighter in here. Don't overdo though. Just tapping. Here and there. There. Okay. A little bit more right there. Good enough. What do you think? Good. 17 minutes is all we've been working on this one. So when you do have, when you prep with the, uh, I'm going to have a little sip of coffee. When you prep with all this stuff, it works easier. You know, and I could have put all those other ones in and they're, you know, you can practice those on cardboard, whatever, um, with a black paint and just work on your trees and stuff. And they work pretty good. Okay. So let's come over here and I want to grab that same brush. Okay. And I got some color on it. I'm going to get some more green on there. Okay. Just pure green. Okay. And watch this. It's a little darker over here. Go back in here. I'm going to throw some, maybe a little blue in there too. Darken it. There. Okay, get a little blue, a little darker in there. Under here, a little more of that phthalo in there. Just tapping in there. There, see that? Down here, maybe there's some shadows in here. Corners. Down below is always should be a little darker in a landscape, right? Okay, over here you can get a little dark down there. Kind of leads your eye up where it's lighter. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then you can always come back in and I'm just kind of grabbing some of these dark spots that I didn't fill in. Okay, and then you kind of got a little, kind of looks like you got some light coming forward. Yeah, looks good. I need a little more blue down. That mixes with green. Oh yeah, looks good. There. Okay. All right. I like that. Doesn't look bad. Okay. Okay. So next, I think some of these distant ones we're just going to leave like that. But I'm going to do these. I want to come in, and I also want to I want to lighten those trees up a little bit more. Okay. So. 
I think I have another one. Look at that. I've got multiples of these. So I want to take some white. Not much. Okay. Get some orange in there. I'm going to put a little more light in these trees. Just tapping. Okay. Some orange in there. A little green. Some yellows. Okay. I want some more yellow in there, though. Oop. Let's see there. A little bit more of that yellow. If it, it will help. Pretty organized today. I got my... There. Where was it? Right here. Okay. Orange in there if you want. Green. Like that. Okay. And let's go up here. I'm just tapping. I want to get a little more here and there. Maybe like here. I'm going to do this. This way. Get some color in here. Just a little. I get a little white in there. A little lighter. Okay. Get a little bit up here. Okay. Pull up. Push up a little bit there. Just make some little things happen. Okay. It is fall. Oh, so, you know. There. What do you think of those trees? They've got some uh, character with them, don't they? Now you can come back in and do lots of stuff there to give them. Okay, get some more of that yellow down here, some white. Okay, and we're gonna lighten this up. Let's see right here. Pink. I'm just touching and pushing. Okay, just some areas, not too much. See. You want to kill all your dark. Maybe a little bit goes up there. There. Kind of lead your eye in. That's what we want. Okay? All right. So now, you know, some fun here. We're going to take this trees. I'm going to put some brown on them. Okay? I just want to scrub some brown in here. Try to stay within the lines. This one's got good control. Do you want to bring them down a little bit? There. There. Good. That looks good. I'm just putting some brown on here so when I make birch trees out of them, they look good. See, maybe that one comes there. See that? Now you can see them growing in the ground. Okay. Yeah, that one more. Got some peats hanging out there. Looks Makes them look a little realer. There. A lot of times I do sell some paintings every now and again, and the ones that typically sell, the ones that I didn't unless they're custom, the ones I typically sell are the ones that took me the less time to paint. You don't need to labor all day. Don't need to do it all day. It's fun though doing it's customs, but they take a little more time. Because the person that wants them knows exactly what they need to look like. Or you have a reference picture or something. See? These are just kind of... Just trying to put some color in there. A little bit on this one. Okay, let's put a little bit right here. I'm trying to keep. When I finish this, I gotta go back outside and do some shoveling. There. there. Okay, all right. So now I could probably use that same brush. I'm gonna come in and I've just taken some color. I got way, way too much paint, but I'm gonna take some white. Pure white. Okay. Come in. A little bit of that brown. Okay. Looks pretty good. Put a little sienna in there. There. A little more white to that. There. That's what I'm going to use. Now, all I'm going to do, hopefully, is come in here and take this side. And we'll just pull it to the side. See? You can use whatever you want with this. I'm just taking and putting some color in here. Try not to get my head in the way. There. How's that look? I think I want to make it whiter so it stands out more. And you can do, but we'll go back over it. Okay. 
we'll go back over. And then up here, you can do a little bit, just maybe touch. Fold it on there. As you get higher up, you don't have to worry about the... And you kind of want to pull them at an angle and scoop them, round them. You know? There. Birch trees, whatever. I got a little orange in it, but it don't matter. Ready? So I'm just touching, flicking. See? Gives them a little look. And you can use a fan brush for this. You can use anything. It's not, you know, whatever you think's easier. And up here, nice and dark. And just come in and touch a little bit to do all that. Down here, pull this one over. A little thinner right there. Just touch him. Up here, we can do the pull, pull, pull. Okay, as you get higher, just touch it in there. You know, right there maybe. This gives them a little depth and, you know, you start adding color in there. But I think they look good. Hmm. The, the background, easy way to do trees. Then you come down here. Come down here. Watch this. There. See that? Looks birchy. Get that birchy looking. There. The only reason I'm doing this is pretty good, and I'm trying not to get my hand in there. But that, you know, good looking trees, you know, and you can, we'll put some, we can take a liner brush and put some other stuff in the, in them too. So, okay. Okay. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. What I want to do on some of these distant little trees back here, these ones, I'm going to take some of this dark, some of that olive green. I'm going to come in and take a little of that olive green. It is very flat, and I'm going to just uh, come back here and add some of that to these. Okay. Just kind of go back and forth. See? You can't see it very well, but it takes a little bit of that. It takes it black, pure black. I can't remember what I used here. Just a little something. Okay, there. More. A little bit of that in there. Just put it in the middle. Don't worry about the edges. You know, there you can pull up a little bit. And the rest of those I think will be okay leaving them black. It's a little bit in the middle here. See? There. I think that will give it a little, makes it look a little bit better. Just you can see a hint of color in them. Yeah? Okay. Now, where's my paint thinner? I think I'm going to try... So I like that brush, how it worked, but I want to try to get a little more action in here. I'm going to need a liner brush. So I'm going to come in, grab my liner brush, and I'm going to come in and grab some of this, some white. Okay. Got some paint thinner on there, but there. A little brown in there. Okay, and we're just going to come up here. I can do this without. Give them a little, I like it. there's more paint on there than I want. So I'm going to wipe the brush off and come in and touch a little bit here. I want to, oops, come in there, wiggle it. See, that looks better. I like that one better. There's just very, very little paint. It's a little bit there. There. Okay. And you won't ruin them. You just, it kind of gives it a little, there, a little bit there. I could use a something a little bit more. Just kind of pull it down. See here, watch this. A little bit there. Slide the brush down and pull. Ooh, it's getting some good stuff. You can do a lot with a liner brush. Hey, just kind of pulling it flat. If you hold it flat sometimes and drag it, you get some indications that you can't get by using the tip. Like that. See? I'm trying to keep my hand out of the there, a little bit there. This guy's got to have something. Watch this one. See? Pull that down there. Doesn't have to be perfect. If you're trying to be perfect, you're not going to be painting long. Trust me. Okay. All right. I like that. And you can come in again, take that liner brush, and just do some. 
grab some more of that brown. Again, I'm going to take some brown and some crimson. Okay, you get some. I'm just going to try to come in here. I take a little pink, but I'll put some little things in here. Okay, a little bit more up here. See that? And same thing if you want. Maybe you can come in and just drag it around. Pull lemons here and there. There. Okay. Kind of gives you some more indication of some limbs in there. Another thing you can do that I've always been, I've liked, is you can come in and scratch. See this? Look at that. See? Here. You got that black under there. Right there, maybe you got one. Put a little in the middle there. Just whatever. You don't have to overdo it, but you can kind of come in and see where it opens it up a little bit. Little little trunk sticking out there. That looks pretty good, actually. Probably looks better than what I did. Maybe a little bit right here, bottom. Wipe it off. A little bit at the top here. A little bit right there. No, up. You're going to have parts where the trees are sticking out around it, and you can still have. You won't see the whole the whole thing, right? Okay. This one's going to take long. Thirty minutes. Shoot, I could have had a joy painting episode today. Mm. No more coffee. And now the tree, I like it. I think it looks pretty good. Get a little more paint on the tip of this. I'm going to kill them all, but a little bit here and there. And a little bit up in here. I just don't have time to, I don't want to sit here all day and do this. But you can see how easy it is. See? There. Now, almost forgot. We're going to have to get some some little things in the sky here, right? Okay. I'm going to come in and start. Actually, I'm going to use my fan brush that I was using before. Where is it? Right here. This will work good. Okay. I'll show you how this works. So then these, these trees, we got to get some I think we're going to put some good color in there. Some orangey looking color. Okay. Let's go. I'm just tapping on here. See how this turns out. Tap it once in there. Let's come up here and we already got the darks, right? See? <laughs> I love this. So easy. You ruin a fan. You ruin a liner brush because I didn't. You ruin a liner brush because I didn't clean it right. And you can tap it once or twice on the palette so you don't get any blotches. And then just come in and come out, go inside on top of these. You don't do too much, okay? Don't overdo. Down here, you got some. And when you get down here, we're going to do some things that are different. But See? It's tapping. These leaves are about ready to fall. Oh, it's fall. Tap. Over here. Same thing. You know? Tap them. There. Just kind of follow the tree. And they'll kind of have some idea what you're what you want them to do okay this way you don't cover up the branches because you got these little tiny leaves just about ready to fall on the ground some probably have okay and then just go fast you can go slow you use this liner brush like this and you're not going to have to worry about putting too many leaves in it takes forever other than using like a fan brush it gives you a lot of control. You know, some of these will just always start on the outside, go above the la the top like this. There, when you're doing the highlights, okay. And these distant ones, oh, I'm not gonna do much on them. I'm gonna leave them pretty much. 
farther. They should probably be a little more uh, lighter, but there. How's that look? Now, one thing you want to do is knock some in front of these leaves because, see, put some in front of these branches here. Let some stick out in front of these, and they won't look right if you don't do that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, what do we got over here? See, come in front. It'll be hard to cover these because of the. There, a little bit more down in here. So, how's that look? I like it. Okay, now I want to add some yellow to this. I want this, some of these to really pop up top here. So I'm going to take just the yellow medium that I had and put it on my palette. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Got to have some paint thinner. If I don't need a ton, I'm going to put a little paint thinner in there. Okay, I'm going to come in and grab that yellow. See, I'm just going to do the same thing. Don't want to dilute it with the orange. See that? Tap it on there. There. Come back up here just to see. Just touch. See, that's pretty good. Now, we could wait and let it dry. But, you know, and then the highlights can go on better. But if you, if you thin it, it'll stick over the top of this. Okay? That's why I put the paint thinner in there. Okay? More paint thinner in there. You can get it thin, tap it over here, trying to keep it good and yellow, right? There. And just kind of do some random in here. See? Tap, 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 tap. Put some green in there, too. Come back in and put some real sap green. And it's going to mix with the stuff that's there, right? Because that's the way it is. See? Just come in and have fun with this. Right here. The orange is in there. The yellow helps really make it pop, doesn't it? There. A little bit down in here. You can get a little sloppy with this. See? Remember that spot here, right here? Maybe we can fix him a little there. He got a little blotched out, but that's okay. So there. You can still see your sky. You got your trees. They're looking old. They're looking dead. Maybe down here in the bottom. There's some leaves down on the bottom here. See? A lot of paint down there, though. You know, just throw some leaves. White in there, too. Some white. Watch this. You, know, you don't want to ruin the grass we put in, but but that gives you some leaves on the ground. See, it's more white, so they really pop. And this is going to have to be thin to get it to fall off the brush. So we're going to thin it. White, yellow, more white. There, just tapping it on there, trying to get on the bristles. There. Looks pretty good. Never done this before with leaves. There. So there's a bunch of leaves on the ground. Eh. I hope that looks all right. Now, I want to finish these trees up. So I'm going to find, I need a super, I almost need like a something. It's kind of, I can control, but it has to have a little, no, I'm sorry, I didn't prepare for this. I might have to just, this might work right here. This might work right here. A little bigger than I want. Okay, so I'm going to grab some white. Come over here. Okay, some pure white. On this, add a little color to it. Perfect. And I'm going to come in here. I want to stick these out a little more. Oh, this is going to be tough. There we go. Oh, perfect. 
that was pulling off. It's going to be hard to get up here. Where is my... I had a something I could use for my arm, but I can put my arm on there. Okay, I'm just going to have to help do this best I can. Right there, pull, pull, pull. See that? that white. I'm going to thin it a little bit. Okay, grab some more white. Got to be a little thinner. Oops. Pull there. Don't mix too much. I might got too much in there. That's okay. See that? I'll pull a little bit. See that? A little bit right there. Right there. Pull them a little bit. Okay. How's that look? I like that. It kind of looks good. I was worried about it first. Okay. A little bit more over here. And on. There. There. I think that looks fine. We can go up a little higher if we want. Right there. And another thing you can do. Okay. It's so touchy up there, but blush a little bit. There. If you get too much, you can come back in and wipe the paint off. You think you got too much white in the spot? Come back in. There. There. That's good. That's good. There. I'm kind of a birchy looking tree, huh? Take my hand off. Okay. There. Got some good trees there. And we got that tree over there. 40 minutes. What else can we do? I'm just trying to think if there's much more that I want to put in. Um, I guess one thing we could do, is I have this brush, there's a little rock up in here somewhere, okay? And he's right here. Maybe there's a kind of something that'll pull your eye in. There's a little rock here, okay? Just kind of scrub him in. There. He comes like that, and it comes down here. I want to leave the base though. I don't want the base to. Uh, I want. I don't want it to go off off <laughs> off screen, off canvas here. Okay. I kind of like these. Okay, we're gonna just take some of this two browns. Okay, maybe even a little blue in there. Okay. Come in here. There's a lot of paint here. Let's pull that down. It's gonna come that way. Remember now, rocks. Just like mountains. So there. So it's kind of just a little rock there. Let's keep in mind it's probably going to be a little dark, which is fine. I'm going to get some more brown. It's brown. And you can do this with a palette knife. I'm going to come in and put some brown on it. Okay. There. And you can grab a little bit of. A little ochre in there. What? Look at that. Mix it in there. You know, maybe a little bump there. I don't know. See that? Now, I think it's going to have to be, to get it to, to be able to see it good, it's going to have to come in with a uh, knife. Okay. So we got the, let's take some of that sienna. Some of that white. See this? When you mix colors, just leave a marble. Put a little more white in there. Now that's going to really stand out. I'm going to put some yellow ochre in there. Okay? Red. Get all of our yellow ochre in there. There. And that'll be orangier. Maybe it'll sit in the back better with the trees. There. So we're just going to take, grab a little bit on the knife. Okay? Just a little bit. Scoop one up there, and uh, what can I have the light? I don't know. What do we do here? This way or this way? Let's go with the flow of the land. Okay, so we can move these around, but watch this. Let's touch. Let me just pull that down this way. Okay. Okay. Over here. And bring it up top there and. Touch, got a little more. You know, your rock's gonna have. Let it bounce. 
There, see? Do a little bit of hay, a little bit of get, light on. It's kind of hitting it. Watch this here. It comes here one more time. See that? See that little piece goes there. So the rocks, you know, boom, 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 boom. Okay, and we're going to grab some blue. Some blue. A little white in there, too. Not much. We just want to get a little shadow. This will make it look cool. Trust me on this. Then we want to go opposite way. See that? Okay. See that? Come over here. A little bit under here. See? Kind of just makes it look like a... I like that. A little bit here. See? There. How's that look? A little rock just glazing out there. Then, could have probably thrown a cabin in here too. Maybe a little more white. Or some of this. It's orange. Watch this color. Some of that orange. I got two different oranges here. I'm going to take some of this because that seems to be the theme. And we're going to add a little more. Not much. Not much. Right here. See? A little too much on there, just pull some off. And you have fun painting. A little bit here, maybe it comes over. It's a little bit touch, 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 touch. There. <laughs> I like it. I think it'll work. Okay. And we're going to come in and get a little fan brush. Okay. We're going to grab some other colors. We have that in there. We're going to come in. We're going to grab some, just a mixture of colors there. Get some of this green, some white in there. Okay, some yellow, that green. And if you just get it on there like this, see? And I kind of come down below here. Watch. See that? Yeah, I might get a little. Put a little stuff underneath it. Maybe it comes over and it's growing up on it. Up here, I got some yellow early in there. Okay. Kind of buries him down in there. Okay. Got some pure yellow here. Watch this. Little highlights here. Just trying to see. We got a lot of color in there anyway, but that way. Where did that go? There. Kind of buries that little rock in there, orange rock. <laughs> okay, see here. Then we can come in and oh, maybe a little bit right there. Is that a little better? Don't get too far up under those trees, because we know it's dark under there, right? There. So kind of still the 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 inside's got a good color. Okay, we can grab some green, maybe even one more blue. My knife, watch this. See, Good spots under there. I'm listening to music, but you can't hear it because I got the mic. That way, YouTube won't get mad and copyright me. See, and these ones are closer, so you can, you know, you can make them a little higher. But that kind of just almost blurs all this out here, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, and maybe we can darken over here. Maybe a little dark under the tree here. See? Okay, how about here? Maybe a little bit dark. There, a little bit there. I don't know. Just trying to put a little shadow in there. See? And over here, yeah, we can get the shadow going there. There. I got blue in there. That's okay. There we go. What do you guys think? I think it turned out good. Uh, one other thing you can do with these is you can come in if you have too much dark. Okay. And you can come back in on these trees. Grab some blue. 
and white. Too much though. Okay. And you could come from this side. See this? A little bit. See that? Just a little blue. No, and I might have put the shadow on the wrong side, but oh well. You just don't know where the lights. We're gonna keep them all the same though. See that? Just pull from that side and it'll give them a little more. It's hard to see the blue. It's there. Probably should be on the other side, but yeah, just a little bit right there. And you can do a lot better with these if you have more control and the paint's dry, but we're not gonna do that today. So um man, I like that. I think that turned out good. Um I would like to take and do a few highlights. Watch this. You can blodge paint. Watch this. Throw it on and then pull it up. See that? Just get little things in there and that yellow on there. Okay. Pull up a little bit as it's closer. You know, get some color. Orange. Jeez, it don't matter. Some orange, that light orange on there. There. Don't want to you know, kill the color, but yeah. See? As it's a little closer, so you got a little taller grass there. All right. Okay, let's get this thing signed. Let me think. I had used zero of my, I knew I did use a little red. A little paint thinner. Oil works good too. We'll get in here and grab some of this red. I like signing with red. I think it looks good. Okay, and then you can come down here in the corner and just, you know, L. You can sign however you want. I do my initials because my last name's too long to be B. Oops. Sometimes I wait till after, but if I don't, sometimes I don't come back and sign them. R. There. There we go. And this is wet, so go back in, pull that down. There. That L a little bigger. There, how's that look? Okay, all done. So thanks for checking in today. Hopefully you guys like this one, but it's kind of cool when you got your little bits of uh, color and, and whatnot, and we want to make sure that, uh, you know, it looks good. I'm going to try one thing here. I'm going to try to get a little more light right there. There, that'll push that tree back a little farther. Okay, that's what I want to do. So thanks again, everybody. Have a great day.